and joined by Braden Howell of the Liberty Raiders. First of all, Braden, uh, last year, well, an unfortunate a um, accident with your, or injury to your, your star player, A.J. Williams, you kind of uh, came to the fore at, uh, at that time. Your coach told me you thought you became a scorer. Then do you were, what do you remember about that time? And uh, did you feel like you had to, it was your time to step up? Uh, you know, losing A.J. was a big part of the team. You know, he was our main scorer. And seeing him go down, you know, it hurt us a little bit. But, you know, Chad was just telling us that me, A.D., and some of the guys last year had to just step up. And, you know, that just made me step up more on offense, and it showed me I could score the ball. Before that, were, were you just – what was the problem before that? I mean, you just kind of let A.J. do his thing? Yeah, I let A.J. do the offense, and I tried to do the defensive part. But, you know, this year I know I can score the ball, and I'm going to try to help A.J. out on that. Um, it seems like in talking to guys, it seems like your your team's going to be predicated around the defense. Um, you see it that way. Is everything starting with that defense? Yeah, you know, defense is a big part of the game anyway. And you know, I think our defense helps our offense out a lot more. You know, fast break scores, steals, rebounds. You know, we can depend on our offense most of the time, but defense is what saves us in the game. Uh, you were an outstanding football player here for uh, a playoff football team this past year, and you know, highly ranked all year. How does does that trans does any of that transfer over to the basketball court? Oh uh, yeah, success? you know, going six and zero, you know, carries over in basketball with some of us who played football. You know, just keeps the energy going and wants kids to get out and play the sport. And you know, hopefully that we can carry it over into basketball this year. If you had to pick one, or maybe another sport, what, what would you pick? Um, I'd probably pick. Football probably, but I don't know. I like football and basketball both. But football is pretty my main. Well, I, I asked you that because I wanted to, I wanted to ask this question: What the, is one thing you, in your basketball game have you improved? Um, have you improved on from the time you stepped in to the gym uh, for Liberty to now? Uh, definitely my defense and rebounding. You know, in middle school and stuff, I didn't rebound too good over defense. But getting in high school, you know, having AJ and AD score the ball just helped my defense and rebounding out a lot. What's one aspect of your game that you would uh, like to see improvement from once the season does start? And what do you think people might be surprised at by your game? Uh, definitely shooting. You know, I've had a struggle in the past shooting the ball. And, you know, kind of kills some of my confidence. That's why I rely on my defense more. I mean, hopefully this year I can get it figured out and improve my shooting a lot. You've, you're saying you've been around for, for quite a while and you're going – into a new region, a new set, new section, new region this year. What are your your thoughts on that? Have you had much time to dive into that and see who's in there? Who you're going to be playing? Anybody you're excited about playing? Or are you going to miss some of these matchups with old rivals? You know, we're going to miss the matchups against Shady and I don't know who else we lost. But um, you know, playing Chapmanville this year is exciting. You know, they're always somehow in the state tournament or state championship one. And Mingo Central, I think, is pretty good. But Chapmanville, you know, it's exciting. But, you know, it's just something we don't know anything about them and traveling all the way up there and playing them. But I think it'll be exciting playing them this year. Who's one team that you think that uh, might surprise people this year from your team? Um, I think Connor transferred from Indy this year. I think he's going to surprise a lot of people. And Trey Tabor, he, you know, he's going to be on our starting five. And he hasn't got a lot of varsity time in the past three years, but he's going to stand out this year, I'm pretty sure. What is the reasonable expect, uh, expectation you think for this team? You know, I think we can be really good. You know, there's a very few games I don't think that we might not win, you know, against Chapmanville maybe. But other than that, I think we can have a really good season this year. I know that loss to Wyoming East was really tough for you guys last year, seeing some guys leaving this locker room for the last time. How much motivation does that give you in the off season uh, for this basketball season? It motivates a lot, you know, because it hurt real bad losing those seniors last year because we've been together since Trap Hill. You know, Chad's always been preaching he wants to get us to states, and you know, this is my last year to get to it, and I want to try to do anything I can to get us there. Do you have any goals in mind for yourself, something you'd like to accomplish this year? I just want to make the states. That's the, that's the main goal. goal. All right, hey, Braden, I always appreciate the time, man. Thank All right, you. Thank you.